Josh, look how crazy big that crack is. Huge! Today I want to teach you how to assess the foundation and plumbing systems in a property. This property is perfect because it's built in the 1980s and it has both types of cracks and it has both types of plumbing systems in place. So, perfect. Let's go check it out. On this property, we noticed there were some small deflection cracks on the outside. This alone, if you see this on a property, doesn't mean that your foundation's bad. This house has been through several different weather changes, several different soil movements over the years, and you're going to get small cracks like this. So you're going to need more than one sign that, there's that there is actual foundation problems, that your foundation has failed. We know that this foundation has been worked on the past because, and especially recently, is because the soil is disturbed in this area. You have where they came in and they've added piers to the property, and on the exterior of the concrete, they make these perfect little concrete patches. All right, let's go on the inside, and I'll show you the different types of cracks that you're going to see inside the property, too. Straight cracks in a property, I always like to say anything man-made is straight. So I wouldn't normally stress out about straight, straight cracks. The cracks that you're normally going to start going to be worrying about that your foundation has experienced larger than typical movement is whenever you start to have tape twisting. Tape twisting and 45 degree angle cracks are going to be the ones that are going to start raising red flags that your property has received significant movement. When it comes to galvanized water lines, I found this actually right inside this cabin area, <laughs> so it's pretty much an easy find. So we know that they've been working on the system in the past. Uh, galvanized water lines, we, they started installing them about 50 years ago, and they, when they embedded them, they weren't supposed to rust. What they are, they're a steel pipe with a galvanized coating on them, and what happened was is our hard water started to break down the inside, and they started creating these really small pinholes, and they started spraying water behind our walls. Created a lot of damage in structures, and uh, if you have these, it's going to be something that you're probably going to negotiate on, or you know that you're going to have to have a future repair. But anyways, how you find them normally is you're going to find them behind sinks, you're going to find them behind toilets, or sometimes they have these little hatches, and you can pull them, you can see the connections at the fittings behind there. This house is unique. They've actually replaced all the galvanized water lines with PEX. And how do I know that is I don't see the pipes behind the sinks, the plumbing, and I also see it in the attic too where they have replaced all the lines. Okay, that's pretty much it for, the, for this video. If you have any home inspection questions, please give me a call. And please, always like and share. Thanks, guys. Bye.